Hi, welcome to today's Areva Academy, database management all about dashboards and widgets. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kent Chambers, your instructor for today. The dashboard allows you to view a summary of data from the various modules from within Exceed Further. The types of dashboards you have, as you see listed here across the top, will correlate with the modules that you've purchased. So as I have a gift module here, that's my gift and pledges. I've got campaigns, I have campaigns. Yeah, I think you get the idea. So let's minimize my navigation areas on the left and right here so we have more real estate and can really look at these dashboards. So your gift dashboard will display donation and pledge information from your donor records. You can see recent gifts in either a list form or in a graphic. And actually, if you're looking at the graphic, if you click it, it'll display larger and can even drill down to um, another graphic, which can also give you a list of all of the, the recent donors that are within that chart. You can see pledge payments or payments that are overdue. And you can see um, your payments versus your ones that are overdue based on what you select from the uh, widget here. And we'll get into the widgets a little bit more in a moment. Memberships displays information about current and new membership activities. So I can look at my membership activities by year. And I happen to be current at the current year. I can see my recently joined members or members that have or are about to expire. So I can try to make sure that they will uh, be signing up again. And I can see my list of renewals. All of these are controlled also by date ranges and the amount of data that you want to, to see. The campaign dashboard gives you the ability to see data on your active fundraising campaigns, and you can compare gift information between two campaigns. So I've got my overview of, of the adult and family literacy campaign, seeing how well I'm doing, and I can see the recent campaign prospects that um, have been making donations. I can see my top prospects uh, and the donations that they've been making. So I can definitely reach out and give them a special thank you. And I can go through uh, different areas to see information about the stages or the ask amount that we had for those prospects. I can see the um, definite recent gifts here. And again, we have more charts that are available to you within this module on this dashboard. <laughs> and events, you can see that it's data that is a response to any invitations and the registrations that have been made uh, on your current events. So I can see my list of events here um, for that are active, the active events. I can see uh, the people who, uh, the number of people that are invited. I'm As I'm looking through and clicking on these, this is actually sorting the group so I can see uh, the numbers uh, move around to see how many have declined, accepted, uh, invited, and the total number of uh, registrations that I have for each of my active events. I can also see responses of, of people that have uh, accepted or declined an invitation, and I can see how my sponsorships are doing based on the event that I choose from my, my menu here. When I go into volunteers, I actually get to see uh, the volunteer scheduling information. I can see volunteers that are scheduled to work and the ones who have concluded their work. And I can get an idea of how we're doing with our volunteers in a year by year comparison. So I can compare any year with any other year. Grants allows me to see information on my grants and the progress that's happening uh, and the activities. So I can see my grants that have been approved and the amount they've been approved for. I can see when my payments come in that have been posted. I can see activities that are due. These would be activities that are helping you monitor and keep the um, necessary tasks due to get your, your grants submitted um, available. And I can see a chart on my pending versus approved grants giving me some more information. I can look at all my different grants. I can look at the ones that are pending a decision and I can look at uh, grants that have been paid and been posted recently, or I can change the date range. And then the guest dashboard will give me information on the guest activities for your house. So I can see uh, the people who are listed to be in the 
uh, in the house right now. I can see my new guest list for um, guests that are just arriving or showing up. I can see my wait list, so I can be working that list to get people assigned to rooms, and I can see my request list. All of this is, is real-time information that is coming in from your module. I can also see when my uh, guests are going to be arriving or when I'm expecting departures. And, of course, we have a little graph here that gives you some information based on the date range that you choose. Now I'd like to talk about how you can configure these different dashboards to suit your needs or desires. I'm going to go back to the gift module. And as you can see, you've got different sections that I displayed. And the same way that I, I popped out this uh, graph here, I can do that with any of the information if I want to see more data uh, and more close up. I can also move these around. Let's say I wanted to start with my graft. I'm going to move it to the left, and I might uh, decide to move this graft up one. So once I have moved things around and I have them the way that they I desire, I can go here and click Save Settings. But I can even do more inside these sections. As I said, um, the data is is typically driven by a date. So if I wanted to look at information and say I wanted to say I wanted to look at last year. So there's my graphic showing me last year and maybe that is how I want to show the information. I could also see if my gift information based on a filter. So I could look for all of my checks or all of my cash or all of my credit cards. As you apply this information, I'm going to clear my filter here. As you apply these changes, then you can click save and that can be done individually for each of these sections. So that's always something that's available to you to get the screen that you like. You can also determine which of these dashboards will show up on your home page when you log in or when you refresh your screen. I'm, I happen to be currently set for volunteers, but I'm going to make a change. If you go up here to the right and click on your name, and then click on My Preferences, you see Home Page as a selection. This box pops up and allows you to make a selection of your dashboard, or maybe you will actually want our activities um, as your home page. You click on the drop down menu. You can see I'm selected for volunteers. I'm going to change it to Events and save it. And now, if I refresh my screen, coming back to my home page, it is now events. I'll do that one more time so you can see it really works. Oops. Home page. And now I will select gifts and save it. And now I'm going to go up and refresh the application. And you can see it it returned to the home page. I mean the gifts uh, dashboard being my home page. So as a quick review, all of our the the dashboards you see correlate with the modules that are here on the left. You can make any of these your home page, which I just showed you, and you can move this information around and then save it so that the a uh, dashboard will appear the way that you want to see it whenever you log in and see your information. I hope I've given you plenty of information. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at arriva.com, and you can join us for our next Arriva Academy. Thank you.